I was scared to death. Even though I'd been a single mom in the past, it was like the end of the world for me. I was involved in a marriage where there was drug and alcohol abuse from my spouse, and I really just felt like between that and the domestic violence, it wasn't a safe situation. Me and my two kids each had a bag of clothes. I never really was on assistance before. I didn't know what was out there. I went to the Department of Transitional Assistance. We eventually walked out and there was one spot open um, at the Greenfield Family Inn. And I arrived at about 7.30 at night. It was overwhelming at first coming in, but everyone seemed really friendly and welcoming. And I had my own room, there was a lock, so I knew I was gonna be safe. I think one of the most important things, just knowing you're safe. The Greenfield Family Inn has been in existence since 1987. So over the years, that's quite a few hundred families that we've helped, and there's been a lot of success. It's a support system you kind of get accepted into. There are weekly meetings, there's budgeting meetings, there are housing searches you have to do. You also have to put aside 30% of your income, so it really helps you save in the end, learn how to budget your money. It makes you feel more like, okay, I can do this. It's not just a shelter, it's a program. During the week, they have to do something for 30 hours, whether it's looking for housing, trying to find daycare, work. There's lots of rules and expectations, and every family has chores to do during the evening. People just need a little bit of help sometimes. So you're just trying to lift them back up, showing them a couple paths to take, and watching them take those paths. So when you watch that family move out into their own apartments, that's very rewarding. I have my son who's eight and my daughter is four and a half. Um, we have two cats, Zena and Charlie. I feel safe where I am. Coming out of domestic violence, I think that's one of the most important things for you to give off that vibe for your kids, um, that they are safe. When they leave, we follow them for a year to see where they're at. Alana is self-motivated. She had a lot of willingness to continue forward. I'm going for my bachelor's in health and human services, and then I eventually want to go on to get my master's in drug and alcohol counseling. Staying at the inn has definitely impacted my life. It's all around made me a more humble person. You learn a lot about people and homelessness in general. You know, it's just a stepping stone to come to a shelter. It's not the end of the world, even though it feels like that at the time. It's not permanent, and it doesn't make you any less of a person.